All right, I want to talk to you about IT spending. Thank you for breaking your report right here on Worldwide Exchange. Uh, you see 10% growth year over year when it comes to IT spending. We're crossing $6 trillion for the first time. What is the driver? It's not just AI. I, I, I don't, that's kind of a broad term, but is there one area in particular that's driving the spending? It is, in fact, this transition that we're going from the traditional AI that we've been doing, the digital business transitions. We are moving into the next super cycle of intelligence. And it is really all the spending around getting ready for the super cycle of intelligence that is driving this uh, big spending. Yes, it's AI, but it's the foundational spending being done by most of the hyperscalers. It's also pushing us past this $6 trillion mark for the first time. But why aren't we seeing a big acceleration? Because this year you have it at about 10% uh, growth when it comes to IT spending. And then next year it's at about 10%. Why aren't we seeing this huge acceleration after all these deals announced? Why are the numbers staying pretty much the same year over year? Well, 10% growth isn't exactly the same year over year. IT has traditionally been in the 5 6% growth range. We are seeing the sort of baton being passed from the hyperscalers building out the foundations, spending massively on AI optimized servers, we will be passing triple the spending on traditional servers to AI optimized servers next year. Massive shift. But it is now coming into the software area where the software providers are now starting to pick up and offering AI optimized services, functionality, features within their software and being able to charge extra for it. Now they have okay. first mover advantage. They could charge a little bit more money. We eventually see it being built into the price of software. But that still puts software at a massive 13.8% growth rate next year. So there is a little bit of baton passing where we're going from building out the servers that we need, now having the software that we need, and eventually the services that will put it all together for us. All right, let's talk about data centers. Data centers are about just under 10% of overall IT spending next year. Last year, data center spending grew, spent, data center spending grew at 47% year over year. This year at 19%. What does that tell us? It tells us just how massive this shift to AI is. I mean, if we think about everything that's currently running on traditional servers, and that's the internet, CNBC, everything that you do in the banks and planes and keeping airplanes in the sky, that's all running on traditional mm -hmm. servers. We've built out this massive base from 2000 to about 2025. By the time we get to 2026, we will have spent more on AI optimized servers than we have ever spent on traditional servers. Okay. Which kind of means AI is more important than everything we're currently doing. John, one last question for you. you. Obviously, put this forecast out before some of the lending questions that we're seeing at big banks and regional banks. Does that have the potential mm -hmm. to impact some of the IT set spending that, we're, that you're expecting and that we're already seeing? No, not really. Uh, I mean, we are entering a really turbulent but necessary stage. We've been past the gold rush where capital was easily made available to AI startups, and we're entering a more crucial consolidation stage where we're going to see a wave of mergers and acquisitions as niche point solutions are absorbed into the more robust, comprehensive platforms that will be needed. Naturally, this means that some smaller companies will fail, and that's not the sign of the crash. It's a hallmark of a maturing healthy industry sorting itself out. And we're still a few years away from the sort of last man standing uh, large language model market, but it will be coming. But again, more of a natural progression in the market rather than a, mm -hmm. a, a problem.